Canada has a rich history and DNA of the prophetic and intercessory ministry. We don't want to change that. We're not against that. We need to celebrate what our, our spiritual DNA is as a nation. However, the church is built upon the apostles and prophets. You've got to have both. If you've got one that's over dominating the other, you don't have balance. And if you don't have balance, you don't have a healthy church. So I believe that we have, we came into an era, I would say maybe in the early nineties, the prophetic began to be popularized. We began to actually embrace the, the prophetic. People forget that prior to the 90s, you were an outcast. You mentioned prophet or prophecy. It just wasn't popular. So God has been taking the church through different phases to bring it all together as, you know, the fullness of, of the body. And so the 90s introduced great prophetic ministry, people like Patricia King, people like Stacey Campbell, different ones. Uh, nowadays, you've got guys like Barry Miracle that are trumpeting with full speed the prophetic in Canada. But we've got to have the apostolic. There's got to be the balance. So if we talk about two sides of a coin bringing truth, I would say we've got such a great emphasis of the prophetic, we actually have had a little bit of an overemphasis. And we've begun, it's been such an overemphasis, we've begun to neglect some of the apostolic and evangelistic. So an example of this is you do any scroll at any time through Facebook. If you're a Canadian citizen and you're part of the charismatic circles, nine out of 10 posts that relate to doing a, a live video or a quote or promoting something ministry-wise is going to be prophetic and intercession. It's amazing. I have scrolled through and been shocked. You know, now we're going to have a prophetic worship service to save the nation. Now we're having, we're bringing the prophets together to prophesy into uh, uh, the Passover or into celebrating the day of Pentecost. Everything, it goes to prophetic and intercession. It's our great Canadian default. And so what I wanted to do with this series and what our ministry does is we don't throw away the prophetic, but we've got to also place emphasis on this side of the coin. So, and for a season to bring the balance, you have to place a lot of emphasis and even educate and even raise up, and you've got to do so much to bring that leg up, to bring a balance. People can be tempted to think that we are against prophetic or we take it lightly. No way. We just want both and. Again, Stacey Campbell said it's not either or, but it's, it's both and. So do I believe that Canada will come into a balance in that area? Yes, because God wants it. God will prevail, but he needs some gutsy apostolic leaders right now. To, to almost rebrand the apostolic in Canada, uh, the sent ones. And that's, what, that's one of the major goals of History Maker Society.